Oh, hey everybody! <laughs> yeah, as you may know, uh, I started the uh, indoor potato, and of course it got me uh, wanting to garden inside of the house, so I just braved the elements to come and get my uh, little bucket here. Ah, uh, it still smells like uh, gardening in here, <laughs> in my little greenhouse. And you know what, it's really not as cold. Of course, you know, the the ground is frozen, but uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of melting. There's some little drops of water falling. Alright, I got myself some, uh, what's that called again? Perlite. Yeah, I'm going to mix that with my dirt. Oh, there's my little <laughs> yellow shovel. Alright, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to drop it in the garden because even though it's going to thaw outside, inside, I don't want to use that dirt because it's going to be full filled with the little bugs probably so I'm just gonna use new dirt ah man is it it's kinda cold today okay yeah <laughs> all right let's go do this all right look at that yeah I got my cheap bookcase this was another project by the way anyway and I'm gonna be turning this into a light garden. And yeah, this is just a cheap bookcase you can get made out of pine with a few uh, shelves that you uh, screw in. But you know, I'm just gonna take that shelf and I'm gonna put my lights on and find some way to uh, lower it. And that of course is gonna be where I'm gonna be putting my dirt and my perlite, perlite whatever. So yeah, first of all, let's uh, do the hook up on the lights. All right, so I just attached my three, uh, I don't know, electrical boxes for my neons on, uh, well, one of the um, the cheap bookcases um, shelves. I had to uh, add a piece of wood so it would fit with the extension cords. Uh, there you go, I'm just gonna close that up. And again, you know, I'm not going to go into details on how I wired this because I don't want anybody to get electrocuted. Let's just say I had some help with uh, an electrician help me out because, you know, you have to do the, quick the correct wiring and then you have to um, find the extension cord that has the, um, the right resistance doesn't like get too hot and burns up all right now I'm just gonna add the as you can see I've added some uh, well these are thingies that you put in the bottom of a stove <laughs> so it doesn't dirty up the stove I just cut them in half and this is gonna act as a reflector to put more lights down could have done them a little bit longer now that I think of it, uh, yeah, but we'll see. Worst case scenario, I'll just add some longer one. Uh, there you go. All right. All right, just uh, before I show you the lights and I guess the finished project, uh, just a word on the tree. I made, yeah, about 12 to uh, 15, uh, I guess, quarter of an inch holes in the bottom of my tray. And I put some perlite over the top, so my dirt doesn't all get out. And you know, I'm just adding some uh, normal potting mix because it's all I could find this time of year. Uh, there you go. And yeah, I'm gonna fill that up right to the top. Ah, that perlite is really uh, hard on the lines. <laughs> oh, that's better dirt than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more perlite. Because since this is indoor, I want the soil to drain very well. Oof. And you really should wear a mask with perlite. 
I'm not because you can't hear me properly with a mask. <coughs> All the sacrifices I make. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. I like to tap my soul just a little bit. Because when I water it, it's gonna be like sucking in, I guess. And Sorry about the noises. Oh yeah, that's him. Chicken manure pellets. I'm just gonna add a few. So the plant gets extra. Extra nourishment, I guess. Yeah, oof. Doesn't smell too good. <clears throat> that's not good. sow my seeds right in there uh, right now I guess <laughs> ah. <coughs> I'm gonna wait to put it in place before I do sow the seeds <coughs> because I might make a mess <laughs> all right be right back oh yeah <laughs> I'm sitting at my desk right now. Look at that. <clears throat> yeah, let me show you. Give you a closer look. Pretty great, eh? I got my lights underneath there. Let me just show you it that way. Yeah. Three lights. Yeah, oh, that's weird. And uh, my dirt. Now, I fasten some chains to this. Some hooks to that. And yeah. Because you know, as the plant starts getting out of the ground, you need the lights like as close as you can without touching the leaves. And of course, you know, you have to estimate like how much the plant will grow that day so it doesn't touch the bulb. Although the bulb isn't uh, that hot. Anyway, <coughs> I still got the perlite in my lungs. Anyway, so uh, with the chains, I'm gonna be able to raise it as the plants grow and uh, yeah, since I'm gonna be growing like spinaches and uh, lettuce and maybe radishes too, yeah, maybe those are plants you know that don't get that tall, so I won't have a problem with uh, them reaching the lights, or I shouldn't have, or if they do, well, I can just cut it, I'll just cut the tops off. <coughs> so, yeah, it was, uh, I guess it is pretty easy to assemble, but if you uh, count in the time I made the lights and you know all the setting up the painting for the rack and all that stuff it took me quite some time but now it's done and I'm gonna be sowing some seeds soon all right so see you everybody and man my uh, homemade spotlight yeah it's still working but man is it giving out heat it's hot in here now all right see you everybody and I hope you like my little light garden of course, if you have the money, if you're not the uh, crackpot like I am, you can buy one. <laughs> but, you know, I had fun uh, making mine. Alright, see you everybody. And, uh, oh yeah, hi to all my new subscribers. I guess it's daily subscribers now. I'm just going to clean up my mess and I'll be out of here.